you don't get a break. You have to like run for 12 hours straight doing one thing after another. It's been eight months since J.C. Lynn Winkiter became a registered nurse. The 22-year-old says she never imagined how severe the nursing shortage would be working in the emergency room at the Royal University Hospital in Saskatoon. She clocked 290 hours in May. That's more than 72 hours a week. At the end of that month, I was like, okay, I can't keep doing this anymore. Like, I'm young, but I can't work that much. Like, I will actually end up killing myself if I do that. Winkiter says the ER is over capacity every day. The waiting room has space for about 20 people, but she says typically 40 to 50 patients are needing care. The patient load is so high and it seems like the acuity of care, like people are sick and they're really sick and we have so many sick people to care for. Winkiter says there are not enough hands or room for them. The worst she's seen? One day we had a total of like 120 patients in the department. Um, they didn't even have a code bed open. Um, there was a patient coding stuck on an ambulance stretcher in the ambulance bay because there's no bed for them. That's on top of paramedics lining the halls waiting to offload patients, nurses treating people in hallways, and a STARS air ambulance stuck waiting an hour for a bed for their patient. The worst case scenario that that could ultimately happen through all of this is that someone could pass away because they haven't had timely access to care due to the nursing crisis. The Saskatchewan Union of Nurses collected data this spring. It shows 83% of members reported vacant positions in their units. That's more than doubled since last year. The union wants the government to admit there's a problem and work with nurses on solutions. J.C. Lynn Winkiter says she still loves her job and being in the ER. But she says she'll take fewer overtime shifts in the hopes that working conditions will improve soon. Yasmin Ghanayas, CBC News, Saskatoon.